Have you ever gazed up at the stars and wondered about our place in the universe? It's a question that has tickled human curiosity for centuries. As we stand on this little blue marble we call Earth, we find ourselves nestled in a cosmic arena that is breathtakingly vast and we are but a tiny speck in this grand tapestry of the cosmos. Let's attempt to fathom the immensity of our universe. Imagine, if you will, a cosmic dance of galaxies, each one teeming with billions of stars. Now let's zoom in on one of these galaxies, our very own Milky Way. Amidst its 200 billion stars, we find our sun, a rather average star, one among countless others. Orbiting this sun is our home, Earth, a small world in the cosmic scale, yet rich with life and diversity. Now let's consider our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. It's the closest star to us, apart from our sun, of course, but close is a relative term in the vastness of space. Proxima Centauri is over 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in a year, and light moves at a staggering speed of nearly 300,000 kilometers per second. So, 4.24 light years equates to approximately 40 trillion kilometers. When we say trillions, we're talking about figures with 12 zeros. It's a number so large that it's almost inconceivable. So even though Proxima Centauri is our closest stellar neighbor, it's still mind-bogglingly far away. It's like saying the closest shop to you is thousands of miles away, across oceans and continents. It makes you realize just how vast our universe truly is, and how small we are in comparison. So, if we were to journey to Proxima Centauri, how long would that trip take us? Let's delve into that in our next scene, shall we? To understand the enormity of the journey, we first need to grasp the speed of light. Now, light travels at an astounding speed of about 299,792 kilometers every single second. That's so fast, it's almost incomprehensible. So let's break it down a bit. Consider an average commercial airplane. It cruises at about 900 kilometers per hour. That's pretty swift, right? But compared to light, it's like a snail taking a leisurely stroll. If our airplane decided to race a beam of light, the light would circle the entire Earth over seven times in just one second, while our airplane would still be taxiing on the runway. Mind-boggling, isn't it? But here's the clincher. Even at this jaw-dropping speed, Light doesn't zip around the universe instantaneously. It takes time. In fact, even at this astonishing speed, light takes over four years to travel from Proxima Centauri to Earth. So, what would it take for us humans to travel this distance? Well, first off, let's address the elephant in the room. The sheer speed required for interstellar travel. Even at the speed of light, it would take us over four years to reach Proxima Centauri. Our fastest spacecraft so far, the Parker Solar Probe, travels at a measly 200,000 kilometers per hour, a far cry from the light speed staggering 300,000 kilometers per second. Next, we must consider the hazards of prolonged exposure to radiation. Beyond the protective shield of Earth's magnetic field, cosmic rays and solar flares pose a significant risk to astronauts' health. Over time, these high-energy particles can damage cells and DNA leading to increased risks of cancer and other serious medical conditions. Resources, or the lack thereof, present another challenge. A journey to Proxima Centauri would take decades, if not centuries, with our current technology. Imagine trying to pack enough food, water, and oxygen to last that long. Not to mention, the fuel required for such a journey would be astronomical. Then there are the psychological effects of long-term isolation. Being cooped up in a small space for years on end, with limited contact with the outside world, can take a heavy toll on mental health. Astronauts on the International Space Station train extensively to handle the stress and isolation, but even their missions last only about six months. Finally, the technological hurdles cannot be overstated. We need to create a spacecraft capable of withstanding extreme conditions, maintaining life support systems for potentially centuries, and traveling at unprecedented speeds. It's a monumental task, and we're still in the early stages of figuring it all out. Given these challenges, 
Reaching Proxima Centauri is not as simple as hopping on a spaceship and pointing it in the right direction. But as we've seen throughout history, human ingenuity knows no bounds. So who knows what the future holds? Our current space travel technology, though advanced, is still far from light speed. Let's take a moment to consider our fastest spacecraft to date, the Voyager 1. Launched in the late 20th century, Voyager 1 is currently hurtling through the vastness of space at an impressive speed of approximately 17 kilometers per second. That's faster than a speeding bullet and much faster than any vehicle on Earth could ever hope to be. However, when we compare this to the immense distances between stars, it becomes clear just how far we still have to go. To give you a sense of scale, let's consider our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Located a mere 4.2 light years away from us, it's practically next door in cosmic terms. Now, light travels at a staggering 300,000 kilometers per second. That's over 17,000 times faster than Voyager 1. So if we were able to travel at the speed of light, it would take us just over four years to reach Proxima Centauri. But we can't travel at light speed. We're stuck at a comparatively paltry 17 kilometers per second. So how long would it take us to reach Proxima Centauri at Voyager 1 speed? Well, let's do the math. One light year is approximately 9.5 trillion kilometers. Multiply that by the 4.2 light years to Proxima Centauri, and we get a total distance of about 40 trillion kilometers. Now, if we divide that by Voyager 1 speed, we get the total time it would take to reach Proxima Centauri. And you might want to sit down for this, because the answer is a mind-boggling 1.8 trillion seconds. Convert that into more understandable units, and we find that at Voyager 1 speed, it would take us over 73,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri. That's longer than the entire history of human civilization. At this rate, a trip to Proxima Centauri would take us over 73,000 years. But what about future technologies? Could they get us there faster? Let's take a spin through the realm of the theoretical, where the lines between science and science fiction blur, and possibilities for faster-than-light travel exist. First, let's talk wormholes. These are hypothetical shortcuts through the fabric of space-time, essentially tunnels connecting distant points in the universe. If we could harness this concept, we could potentially leap across light years in a single step. But there's a catch. Wormholes are highly unstable and would need some form of exotic matter with negative energy density to keep them open. At the moment, this is purely theoretical and we're not even sure such matter exists. Next, we have warp drives, a concept popularized by the Star Trek franchise. Warp drives work on the principle of bending or warping space-time around a spacecraft, allowing it to traverse vast distances almost instantaneously. The ship itself remains stationary while space moves around it. This concept, proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre, still remains in the realm of theory mainly because it requires an enormous amount of energy, equivalent to the mass energy of the planet Jupiter. Lastly, let's look at antimatter propulsion one of the most promising concepts for future space travel. Antimatter is the mirror image of normal matter, and when the two meet, they annihilate each other, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This energy could, in theory, be harnessed to propel a spacecraft at a significant fraction of the speed of light. However, producing and storing antimatter safely is a huge challenge, with our current technology only able to produce minuscule amounts. These technologies, though still theoretical, give us hope for faster interstellar travel in the future. Each concept, while currently beyond our technological reach, provides a tantalizing glimpse into what might be possible as our understanding of the universe and our mastery of technology continue to advance. The stars may seem far away now, but who knows? With these future technologies, we might be closer to them than we think. So, what would a journey to Proxima Centauri entail? Let's start by setting the stage. Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor, lies about 4.2 light years away. To put that into perspective, if you were traveling at the speed of light, it would take you just over four years to get there. But with our current technology, the journey would take us tens of thousands of years. The challenges of this journey are numerous and varied. 
we'd have to contend with the vast emptiness of space, the potential of micrometeoroid impacts, and the physical and psychological toll of such a long journey on astronauts. Not to mention the need for a sustainable source of food and water and the ability to generate energy for the long haul. But let's not get bogged down by the challenges. Instead, let's imagine what the journey could look like with future technologies. Concepts like the Breakthrough Starshot project propose using light sails pushed by powerful lasers to accelerate small, gram-scale spacecraft to 20% the speed of light. At that speed, the journey to Proxima Centauri could take just over 20 years. Now, that's more like it. However, even with these advanced technologies, preparation is key. We would need to develop new systems for long-term life support, figure out how to protect the spacecraft and its passengers from cosmic radiation, and devise ways to repair any damage that might occur during the journey. And let's not forget about communication. At such vast distances, even simple messages would take years to reach Earth. In conclusion, a journey to Proxima Centauri, while currently beyond our reach, is not entirely out of the question. With advancements in technology and a whole lot of human ingenuity, it might just be possible. The journey to Proxima Centauri, though daunting, is a testament to our human spirit and our endless quest for knowledge. The vastness of space is both humbling and inspiring. It's like looking into an endless cosmic mirror that reflects back at us the grandeur of our existence and the insignificance of our ego. As we've journeyed through the vast expanse of space in this discussion, we've ventured into the realm of light speed, grappled with the challenges of space travel, reviewed our current technological advancements, and dreamt about the future concepts that could one day propel us to the stars. The journey to Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor, is a testament to our relentless human spirit that yearns to explore, to understand, and to conquer the unknown. It's not just about the destination, but the voyage itself. It's about the lessons we learn along the way, the discoveries we make, and the boundaries we push. Every step we take towards this seemingly impossible goal is a step towards understanding our place in the cosmos. We are but a tiny speck in the grand tapestry of the universe, yet we are capable of understanding, exploring, and perhaps even altering this vast cosmic landscape Space exploration is more than just a scientific endeavor. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-transcendence. It challenges us to push beyond our limits, to question our beliefs, and to continually strive for knowledge and understanding. It reminds us of our shared humanity, our shared home, and our shared destiny. As we continue to learn and explore, let's remember to carry with us the lessons that space exploration teaches us. Let's remember to be humble in the face of the vastness of the universe, to be inspired by the beauty and complexity of the cosmos, and to be relentless in our pursuit of knowledge and understanding. The journey to Proxima Centauri may seem daunting now, but remember, every great journey begins with a single step. And who knows, maybe one day, we will find ourselves gazing at the stars from the surface of a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri.